सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर्स दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग योर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन्स बिफोर वी मूव एनी फर्दर आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू न्यू एंड प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव माई वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू अबाउट थ्री सॉफ्टवेयर दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग योर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन द फर्स्ट वन इज बैंडी कैम To download this software all you have to do is go to your browser and search bandicam.com the link will be given in the description as well once you go to the website just click on free download and it will take you to a new page just click on download bandicam and then it will ask you to select the download location select the download location and click on save once the download is completed Click on bdcamsetup.exe. Now I'll briefly show you the installation process. That said, the software has been installed successfully. But before we start using the software let us check out some settings. Click on general settings and here you will find the output folder. This is the folder where your recordings will be saved. By default it is saved in C users latest documents but we can change it if we want. By clicking on this and then select the output folder location. Now below this you have the video settings. Here you can change the hotkey settings, video format, resolution, audio bitrate, a video quality and other settings. You can customize these settings depending upon your requirement. In order to start the recording, all you have to do is click on this arrow mark and click on full screen and then display one. And then click on record and it will start recording. And in order to stop recording all you have to do is just click on this stop icon and it will stop recording. To preview your recordings all you have to do is click on this folder icon and these are your recordings. So that was all about Bandicam but this software has certain limitations. The biggest disadvantage is that the output files come with a watermark on the top and the second disadvantage is that you can record your computer screen only for 10 minutes. and if your recording time exceeds 10 minutes it will automatically stop the recording in order to remove the watermark and increase the recording limit you will have to purchase the license of the software which not all of us can afford but do not worry i'll tell you about the second software sharex which is totally free of cost and doesn't have any recording limit to download the software all you have to do is go to your browser and search getsharex.com the link will be given in the description just click on the download button and it will ask you to select the download location select the download location and click on save once the download is completed click on this sharex setup.exe i'll again show you the installation process briefly the software has been installed successfully and to start recording the screen just click on capture and then click on screen recording and click anywhere on the desktop that said the screen has started recording and to stop recording all you have to do is just click on this red icon and as you can see the recording has stopped and to preview the recordings you just have to click on this the recordings are saved in documents share x but you can change it by going to application settings paths and here you can browse and select a default folder so that was all about this software to add on to this list we have a third software called obs studio which is free of cost and doesn't have any recording limit this software can also be used for streaming to download this software just go to your browser and search for obsproject.com The link will be given in the description. Here you will find three options for three different operating systems. Since I have a Windows operating system, I'll click on Windows and then it will ask you for a download location. Select a download location and click on save. 
once the download is completed click on the setup.exe right here now this is the installation process in brief That's it, the software has been installed. The interface of this software might seem a bit difficult to some of you. And for that reason, I'll drop some video links in the description box. You can watch those videos to know more about the interface. But as far as screen recording is concerned, all you have to do is just click on this plus icon and click on display capture. Click on OK. And then again click on OK. And to start recording, just click on start recording right here and your recording will start. And to stop that, just click on stop recording. And now here it shows that your recording has been saved to see users that is videos. Now you can directly go to that location by clicking on file, show recordings. So these are my recordings which have been saved here by OBS. And to change the output folder, all you have to do is click on settings, output and then you can click browse here and select a default location. So that's it about OBS. Personally, I would prefer ShareX because the interface is really very simple. The recording quality is good and there is no recording limit. But you can choose any software that you find good among these. That's it for the video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. If you have any doubts or queries, you can follow me on Instagram and leave a DM or you can join the channel's Discord server and leave a DM there. All the links to my social media handles have been given in the description, do check them out. We'll meet in the next video, till then goodbye, take care.